Welcome to the Woman in the Mirror podcast with your host, Siobhan Robinson. And your co-host, Lady J. Hey, Siobhan. Hey, hey, hey. Lady <laughs> I know you like to say that. Hey, hey Lady you J. You and Nika Huff. Never going with away. your co-host, Lady J. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 <laughs> Lady J. What How you, you got doing? to say today? Oh, not much. Just, not much. Yeah. I'm just here today. I'm just chilling a little bit, you know. I'm not feeling my best, actually. My allergies have been kind of mm. giving me the business. So, but anyway, how are you today, Siobhan? I'm good. I'm good. good. It's good to see you today. And Thank welcome you. back to all of you. Thank you again for joining us. Yes. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. Listen, go ahead and do that so that whenever a new episode drops, you get a notification and you can tune in right away. Bing. Hey, did y'all enjoy last week's podcast? Oh, my gosh. With the disease to please. The disease Listen. to please. That was like one of my favorite podcasts. So if you have not tuned in to last week's podcast featuring our special guest, Jamila Riley, go ahead and check that out because I promise you, you will be blessed. You will. I was blessed and I listened to it. And I'm going to listen to it again today because it was just that good. It's an all time favorite for me. Yes, for, for sure. So. Yeah. And a lot of people struggle with the disease to please. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, if that's something that you struggle with, go back and listen to it again. We gave and Jamila gave a lot of tangible tips yes. and tangible ways she that sure you can did. use to help you fight the disease to mm-hmm. please. So mm-hmm. listen, as always, shout out to the best producer Hello. ever. <laughs> shout out. There you go. Hey. Shout out to Jay, who, you know, that's my son, who I just <laughs> love and adore. <laughs> That's my baby. Uh, so yeah, shout out to yeah. Jay. We just um, love you so much, Jay. And thank you for all of your great. He got, has some great ideas, ideas, doesn't he? Grounding us. Yes. Yes. We appreciate He's you. a visionary. So we thank you, Jay, for just being who you are. Yeah. And yep. getting on the mic with us. He getting on the mic with us next week. So check us out next week because Jay is going to be on. And we got we got a hot topic, topic. next week. Another. But what are we talking about today, Siobhan? We're talking about spiritual warfare. Um, yes. Similar to actually um, a couple podcast episodes we just did recently around enemies um, and the yes. battles that we fight against our enemies and knowing who our enemy is. And so today we're going to go back into that direction, but give some tangible ways to identify the tactics of the enemy. Yes. When we do, when we do have the ability to identify who that is, what does that look like? And so right. Lady J is going to break it down for us. Um. <laughs> Well, hopefully I can give you some good <laughs> tips here. And gotcha. I've just been researching this, you know, since we've been talking about this yeah. winning in front of your enemies and, you know, how to fight spiritually, because a lot of you uh, gave us a lot of good feedback, right. like that you exactly. really, really needed that topic. So, you know me, if we just help in four or five, That's I'm happy, it. you That's know, with it. that. But I know we have helped so much, so many more than that. Sure. Um, but spiritual warfare is so real. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you had better be strapped because the Ooh. enemy is not playing with you. He's not playing with us. Strapped. You've got to be strapped, <laughs> right? Strapped Cause we're going to talk about what we need to put on today. Um, the enemy is not playing, right? Never. And the harder you go for God, the harder he's going to go for you. after you. Yes. Right. So we already know that, He's not playing with us. Enemy's not playing with us, but we're not playing either. Mm, right. Mm, so um, people don't think that spiritual warfare is real, but it is so real. If it was not real, you know, Paul wouldn't have even talked about it in the mm, book of right, Ephesians. Right. Right. So, um, so let's look at Ephesians uh, chapter six. And we talked about this Siobhan a few weeks ago, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Ephesians chapter six, and it starts at verse 10. He gives us, um, the armor of God right. and what we need to yes. be equipped with, right? Yep. When we are fighting spiritually mm-hmm. and um, starting at verse 10, chapter six, Ephesians six and 10, he says, finally mm-hmm. be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might, right? Power, yes. Put on right in the strength of his power, in the strength of his might, mm-hmm. not our might, Mm-mm. but his might. Mm. <laughs> um, so spiritual battles require spiritual strength spiritual strength we can't go into a spiritual battle Mm -hmm. on our own power we'll never win never (laughs) never not and my power is little my brother really told me that the other day she had mommy i got little breath compared to you (laughs) and that's what i compare to my god is my my strength is little compared to absolutely it is right right um but we have access to power that people who are non-believers mm-hmm. don't have mm-hmm. and so we have to tap into that power That's true. so spiritual battles require spiritual strength we need to fight in the strength of the lord right the strength of 
his might. And if we say that we serve an all powerful God, why don't we tap into that strength? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Silly. Right, Think right, we can do right. Something on our yeah, own. Thinking we can, right, and we can. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so we have to tap into the strength of His might because, again, spiritual battles yes. require spiritual strength. Um, He says, "Put on the whole armor of God, With the full word. armor of God, oh. the whole." Oh. So we were laughing, Shavon, <laughs> before we came on because you know I was describing when I get dressed in the mm-hmm. morning or when you get dressed in the morning, we don't go outside and we don't like have on our shoes or we missing our shirt. We put on our the full essentials. outfits, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And that's what we have to do with the armor of God. We cannot leave out the essential pieces. Exactly. And exactly. think we're going to win. What's, and what's the essential pieces? Because... I don't know. I feel like depending on who you're talking to, some people prefer to wear certain accessories. Yes. But I think this is a good common ground that we could all say as Christians, we should all have these essentials yes. no matter what. So read Ephesians 6 and 10, though. And if you look at it, he gives us all that we need mm-hmm. to wear. Mm-hmm. He says the belt of truth, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, mm-hmm. um, the shield of faith. Yep. Sorry. The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. Yep. Sword of the spirit. Yes. Yep. So those are the essentials. Those are the essentials. And so we should all as Christians, as all as believers, these are things we should be armored with. Absolutely. No matter what. So I I appreciate that. I appreciate that we all have similar outfits when we're in face when we're facing the enemy. Like we should all be dressed appropriately. We should all have these particular items on. Spiritual battles require a spiritual armor. Mm -hmm. They require a spiritual outfit. No, um, no warrior, (laughs) no soldier Mm -hmm. goes Mm -hmm. to fight a battle without being properly dressed. All and the the same thing thing goes for us. Sure do. When you just said that we, that, yeah, they all have on. They all have on the attire. same thing. Yep. And he's telling us what we need to wear. Mm-hmm. So if we're gonna fight our these spiritual battles, we have to come prepared. Come prepared. We have to put on the full armor of God. Yep. There is no way around it. <laughs> proper. We have to have on the proper mm-hmm. attire mm-hmm. to fight in this battle. Okay. Um. You know, it's easy for us to rush through and say, well, maybe I don't need this. Maybe I don't need this. But we have to be prepared. Prepared. Right? Because the enemy is. He's always prepared. He's ready for you to not be prepared. (laughs) And when you are not prepared, Mm -hmm. you are not prepared to fight the battle. Right? right? Right. And what happens when you are not prepared for something? (laughs) You're going to fall flat on your face. Yes. (laughs) You're going to fall short, right? Yep. And so yep. I've fallen short so many times because I haven't that's, been properly that's prepared. That's it. And so if we want to make sure that we win, then we have to be properly prepared. Yes. And he's telling us how to come suited, yep. how to come yes. suited and booted. Yes. He's giving it to us, yep. right? Yep. This is the armor of God. And so we have to have on the full armor of God, yes. all right, so that we may be able to withstand, okay, the schemes of the, the, the devil. Schemes, that's the part. The schemes, the, schemes the plots, that are the plans mm-hmm. that the enemy has for us. And so we we know that the enemy has different strategies that he uses. Mm-hmm. And I was telling you, Siobhan, um, today, some of the, the um words and some yes. of the plots and the plans right. and the schemes that the devil uses to try to throw to us off. For, right. Yep, yep. So um, if you want to write these down, um, I call these the D's. The D's. <laughs> How the many D's. D's? There are seven. There's seven D's. And I researched these and, um, you know, some some people gave five, some websites gave four, mm-hmm. but collectively I found seven. I so, the, need more. so the first one, mm-hmm. so the first strategy that the enemy uses is the strategy of distraction. Mm. We know that the enemy tries to distract us. Okay. The second strategy is discouragement. Mm. You know, he'll bring people to discourage us. He'll uh, make us think about old things in our past and the way we used to be. Um, Yeah. Have us second guessing ourselves. So the first one was distraction. Mm -hmm. The second one is discouragement. The third one is discontentment. Ooh, speaking to my soul. Listen. Okay. Just not happy. Just with not happy anything with, going on n- with, around you. with nothing. Just, and knowing there's so much good going on around you, yep. but it's, it's a yep. scheme. 
It's yep. absolutely. 